printed yet. They're, as they come in, they're sending it out. But they're specific Sidurim, specific for summer camps. Mm -hmm. And it goes from, uh, essentially, from the end of May until the end of August. So this way they cover everything, but it really has everything you poss could possibly have in it. Um, and as I'm playing it, he didn't have any of those yet. Uh, for me, but he gave me some of what what it's based on and as I'm playing with it and as he's looking through and showing me some of the things that's in it Just the educational possibilities. So I got a bunch of just for our, our staff because the Educational possibilities that do out of all things is And, uh, Malam is nine campers in total, and Machan Aleph is twelve. Okay. Reverse. Yeah. And how many new new campers do we have at this point? Yeah. I don't have that right okay. here. I can get that. Okay. okay. Um, uh, all right. Uh, no. So no questions. On uh, March of living, March of living. How many? Um, uh, uh, students were there from camp. There were um, that I actually spoke to. <laughs> there were about eleven, but I actually only spoke to about eight of them. The other three. Is that an indication of no, how long they're going to no, last at camp? No, not as well. Not as well. It's, it was that they were relatively quiet, or they were. I mean, there were even some Torontonians that were that I ran into. Actually, we flew back together. So did you get um, some of the, uh, with the Corin uh, summer camp, like, so were there any available? Like, I uh, yeah, so it will be available, so I would have some uh, for the camp. Oh, wonderful. And uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Even things like the the keynote that we, I mean, we don't yeah. sing all the keynotes. So the keynote that we happen to sing, they're in there. Like, uh -huh. It's really, it's a one-stop shop. So, really? Huh. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, mm -hmm. We'll uh, move on. So, uh, so next, uh, I've, um, uh, Brenda, there are some modifications. 
there are. There have been certain modifications made to the bylaws uh, since they were presented at our last AGM. Uh, two in particular. One is that our ex officio board members no longer have the right to vote. And uh, two, a standard clause was inserted to ensure that all board members um, do not have the status of bankruptcy and are able to, to manage property. And uh, we did decide as a board at our last meeting that we will be asking our current and future board members to be signing uh, a document to that effect. Um, as well as a uh, confirming that they're not currently confirming bankrupt. that they're not currently bankrupt, um, and uh, and within that document there will be a um, a um, non-disclosure uh, clause as well. Oh, I'm sorry, not that okay. uh, So those are the two modifications made to the bylaws. So, so just to just to context, because we had to go through um, with the Canadian government a continuance for our type of corporation, so it had to go through um, uh, verification of our bylaws and everything else, and to bring them up to you know current standards and stuff like that. So those, after looking through it, it was Lapointe Rosenstein that uh, that it did this work, and those were the only two changes that they uh, that they came up with. Um, of these, these changes are to be passed? Right, yeah, yeah, so you have to make a okay, motion, so, right? So I move to pass both of these modifications made to the bylaws. Seconded by Gary. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you. And now nominations, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> well, let her type it in because she's also the secretary. That's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, so La Fia too fair. We yeah, have Loma had, too fair. And the <laughs> too fair. Uh, we've had some some notable changes to our board since since our last meeting. Um, firstly, last uh, July, Jeff stepped down from our board, um, and. Uh, more recently, uh, Cindy Hershon also stepped down from our board, leaving two vacancies to be filled. Uh, those vacancies will be filled by Heather Charlap and Eric Laxer, and we welcome them. Which I circulated, I circulated your bios. Okay. Did, did you see Eric's first, his first version of his bio was... Eric is married to Karen, period. <laughs> Which is sufficient, <laughs> FYI. <but laughs> sorry, 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 Brenda. That's okay. That brings us to, to our new slate. Yep. So the new slate, which is going to be elect, elected here yeah. at this meeting, uh, consists of the following members. So Martin Saxner as our president, Danny Wald as our vice president, Shauna Bratton as our treasurer, myself as secretary, Karen Sigmund as our immediate past president, Evan Feldman, Renit Holtzman, Gary Polachek, and Eric Laxer, and Heather Sherlock, right. and Jeff Bichet as our camp director. Right. So I move to elect this new slate to the board of directors. Seconded, I guess the other seconded. Yeah, seconded by. How about we do a nine? Um, no, nine motion, board. like just that. Right. Let's, let's get a nine. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> seconded yeah. by Emmanuel. Yeah. Oh. The one person. Yeah, no, Terry, Terry, Terry. Oh, yeah, no. Terry. It's true. You guys could have done it all. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next time. Next. Okay, so uh, all those <laughs> in favor? Like, are you raising your hand or are you in favor? All those in favor. Oh, all those in favor. favor. <laughs> yeah, thank oh, you. Thank you. Great, it's a two year term. At least we can laugh, it's not so bad. <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Huge work. Okay, and now the pièce de résistance, our financial statements. So uh, here, if you want, there are some on the table. If you want to circulate them, here are some um, 
the financial statements. I don't know if you guys want to take a look. I'm just going to ask that you give them back to me at the end because they are in draft format. So please don't take them home with you. And uh, the only thing... And they're numbered. And they're numbered, so I know. I know if I'm missing one. I won't search you when you leave, though. Um, I guess the really the only thing I, I wanted to point out on the financial statements is that the way the auditors do the, the accounting of the statement of revenue and expenditures on page five, it actually so it actually sorry shows that our revenues exceed our expenditures, but what's included in our revenue is about sixty thousand dollars of capital campaign revenue, which we are trying to use our capital campaign re revenue to uh, for our capital asset purchases. So really, it, it displays a deficit. It, we have a deficit of about thirty thousand dollars from an accounting standpoint, and if you take out the amortization, it leaves you with a, a real deficit of about. Ten to fifteen thousand dollars. So that's something that I, I felt necessary to to explain and to show to everyone. Other than that, I guess you can see on the balance sheet on page sorry four that we currently are in bank. Our bank indebtedness has increased significantly from last year. As of October thirty first, we do we do owe the bank some money, and I think a lot of it has to do with the operating loss and the timing of our capital expenditures and the um, pledges people have made for these capital expenditures. And also which, and also, just add there was around 20,000 less of deferred revenue, like we collected pre prepaid fees, 20,000 less than the year before. Because we had the line last year, we were in a position that we needed to get people to, to pay in more. advance, yeah. 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 Right. So that that's, that's all I, I wanted to highlight to not Although the accounting and the financial statements might be misleading that there is positive, we are not in a, in a positive position. Um, and then in terms of expenditures, we discussed in the board meeting, um, just condensing them a little bit and, and reclassifying them to make them more meaningful. And I think that's all I wanted to highlight. And our capital assets increased by around $100,000. That's it. So we did, and that can be shown on page um, seven in the cash flow. We've purchased about $101,000 of capital assets. So the so the way that I look at it, just to share, is we need more registration, and that will take care of. We've been hovering at break even, plus or minus, you know, and uh, and uh, you know we need recruitment, and we need to fill those bunks, and that will resolve that issue. Yeah. Um, does anyone have any questions? Any questions? No. Just where? What? Uh, sorry. Uh, what? What? Where are the bulk agents where you where you have the most slack? Or we have the most what? Slack. Slack. <laughs> is that a nervous laugh? No, it was. I was gonna say all of that. All of that. <laughs> Strike it from the minute. Um. I mean, so I'm laughing. So we don't in the, the, there isn't one bunk that has more than eight kids. One age group that has more than eight kids. You know, it used to be that there were, could have been the same age group with 18 kids or 20 kids. And we, like literally, and I'm in the same age group as in, there might have been Geza Bet Benin one and Geza Bet Benin Two, so not even Geza, but <coughs> one and two. Um, so we're, I mean, we, we really, we have room everywhere. There, having said that, we still do have bunks that have, I mean, Samarit Aleph Benin, there's seven. Samarit Bet Benin, there's six. Machon Aleph Benin, there's seven. Alam Benin, there's seven. So it's not like we, enough Bet, but not there's six. Enough Bet Benin, there's seven. Geza Aleph Benin, which I don't know.
in favor. <laughs> Thank you. And, and yeah. back the names. Great. And, yeah. Wonderful. And, and the next thing you have to do is make a motion to? Yes, a uh, uh, motion to appoint BDO as our auditors for 2015. Okay. Seconded by? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so here I'll cover the different aspects of uh, of, of uh, the camps functioning this year. Um, no particular order, but uh, so the capital work we've done this year, just to give you an idea, um, as uh, as Shauna said, we did over a hundred thousand dollars of work, um, of which we added bathrooms at the Ulam, so that they don't have to, the kids don't have to dirty the Hadar. Uh, you know, in the evening, so it allows for better cleaning <coughs> and, and better management, supposedly. We'll see how that works. So there are new bathrooms already done. Uh, there was some work done to the waterfront. <laughs> There's a second boat, right? There's, uh, we've done some work to the docks. There was some, uh, some additional uh, safety supplies that were added. Um, there was a lot of plumbing work done. Um, pipes underground, I mean, uh, they were busting a lot during the year, right? Because what happened was, just to explain, the pumps were replaced, so the water pressure had increased thanks to the new pumps and stuff. But with the increased water pressure, it blew pipes all over, <laughs> right? Is that, is that accurate? Yeah. Pipes are busting <laughs> everywhere. So the system is stronger. The pipes have been replaced largely, and, uh, and, and we're all the better for it. Um, we had uh, installed a new walk-in fridge, or freezer, the fridge, right? Yeah, the walk-in fridge. Um, we had, uh, we had uh, built out a great hockey rink, right, with a with yeah. a uh, stand, which was really the highlight of the Maccabea games, um, as well as uh, after the summer, like after camp went out, um, they worked on fixing up the old tennis, uh, the soccer field, is that what it is up there, or the... Yeah. Football. Both. Football, yeah, Everything. so... Soccer soccer field or baseball field. We're great. Or the old tennis football in the last <laughs> few years, but really it's a soccer baseball field. I know this is nothing. That big field up at the club. Migrash Galil. Okay, it feels so, like Jerusalem. Yeah. It has so many layers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so, so the, the property was prepared there to enable more sport activities. So, uh, so I, I believe we'll that will be the center of sports this year. Really? No, I don't agree with Right. That's great. So, and then we're going to put up lights. I forget. Was that, no, we're not putting it because I'll leave. Right. Okay. Um, so, planned work for this year. The major one is um, we're uh, installing, I mean, it was already ordered and it'll be done before camp, but a whole new drinking water system um, approved by the government, uh, you know, with regular tests and stuff like that. And all the plumbing, it's, um, it's around a $25,000 investment. But, uh, but you know it'll beat the the bottles and everything and so the kids can you know fill up bottles you know and uh and there's going to be several stations and uh and as well for for cooking so uh so that'll be done uh, i believe it's like one of those israeli ozone systems 
Um, and, and the company that is supplying it will be doing testing and providing it to the government on a regular basis also. So, um, so that will be done. We have, we're purchasing some kitchen equipment. I don't know, did we purchase it actually already? We did. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, so we purchased some, some kitchen equipment uh, to make uh, George's life a little easier and as well actually uh, cut down on the propane bills. Because lo and behold, they were using these stove tops. It would have to stay on 24 hours to keep water boiling because, like, the system, the the the, the stove top was finished. Um, and and we'll do we as always. We have to do some renovations to bunk. So that's what we know. Of. And that are we buying mattresses? And we'll be purchasing some new mattresses. That was my poll, just FYI, over the Pesach. Do we need to replace mattresses or not? And a lot of parents are all like, yes, we need new mattresses. And the kids are like, no, they're great. We just put two of them. And anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It was an interesting conversation. It got everyone engaged at the table generally, FYI. Um, so that, that's what we see. Uh, that's, what we see that's what we see now. Uh, there'll probably be some other things, but that's what's planned for now. Um, on the flip side, FRD, fundraising. So uh, where we are today is at, uh, we've raised 380,000 to date. When I looked at what we presented last year, last year we had raised, we were at 225. So, uh, so it's gone up, uh, thankfully, with a very significant gift, um, which we will be using as a matching grant to hopefully uh, uh, to motivate others to, uh, to, to give and and we'll really you know take off with that so hopefully we'll go from 380 to we, our goal is 585 and we're still working towards that and we will get to that um, so just to give you uh, just to give you a little context so we've raised three hundred eighty thousand dollars to date we've done of work that has been done three hundred eleven thousand plus we're doing another like I said, twenty-five, roughly thirty-five thousand uh, dollars, thirty-five thousand dollars of work so far this year. So the money that we're raising is pretty much is going immediately, like uh, has been covering the work. So, so that's where we're at. Um, next operations. So, it was, it, it, like when I prepare this, it's like stand. I said it last year too. It's like standing on a mountain and looking at where we've come. You know. So, so when I talk about operations, I'm like, wow. We hired, we, we, you know, we transitioned, we hired a, a new old camp director, a new camp director, and we transitioned, you know, uh, successfully, um, you know, to, to uh, our second phase of reestablishing, uh, you know, camp at Masad. And uh, so we've been very fortunate to have Jeff on board. It was a pleasure working with you on the board, and now it's a pleasure working with you, uh, you know, at the helm of, uh, you know, the leader of the camp. Uh, and uh, so that was, and we, we, Stu has stayed close by FYI, I mean, he sends me texts and emails all the time, so I, I see the massage still at his heart, um, but uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, that, that worked out very well and, uh, and nicely. Um, we've worked on goals with Jeff uh, in terms of uh, advancement and recruitment, stability and succession within key staff positions, and uh, I'd like to acknowledge Zahavit, <laughs> year two. <laughs> you survived year one, and you're here for year two. So, uh, so, uh, but but succession within our key staff and assuring program quality and skill building. You know, feedback we had always gotten was, you know, about the acquisition of skill. You know, improving. They go to camp. They they learn to swim or whatever and that they actually improve. You know, so uh, you know, I think Jeff is very strong with that, and I mean, we have confidence that they will. Uh, you know, there will be an attention to that. Right. Oh yeah. Right. So so that's great, and and that was I would say the largest feedback uh, I I would hear from parents. So so that's great. Um, leadership development. Uh, that's very important going forward. That we, I mean, you know, we have that responsibility to train our future leaders. But I think for the camp success, um, to really have uh, an effective, a meaningful, and impactful. Uh, a, excuse me, kick-ass leadership program eventually is, it will be important, I think, to the future of the camp. Um, so, and so work towards that. Um, and the enhancement of informal Jewish education and fostering the love of Israel and Hebrew, which, I mean, uh, you know, that we, when you're on the board, we used to talk about that a lot. So I, I assume that that, uh, I have every confidence. I've changed my mind. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Um, We've also successfully transitioned our maintenance staff. 
right? When you look at that, you know, I mean, the thought initially of Claude, who was there forever, you know, is he still on the website, by the way, with the days? Yes. yes. Okay, <laughs> you know, I mean, should be. But, but the thought initially of, of that transition of, you know, Claude retiring, what would that look like? I mean, we strategized about it a lot and never in my wildest dreams and probably you too, I mean, any of us, like, did we think it would go so well? Um, Claude was tired, it was finished. Uh, his right hand also retired, he wasn't well, and uh, and we replaced him with, I mean, a guy that worked for me for many years. But beyond the fact that he's cap cap competent, capable, lives up north, it was a win-win. What it has done for him, eh? I mean, Randy loves camp. First of all, he's Jewish. And just to give you a little parenthetical story, I met him on on a site of mine. He worked uh, for, a, for a contractor of mine in a, in a, in a project in Laval in 2004. That's when he started. And how did it start? He asked me, what time is Shabbos? I'm like, I look, you know, he has a painter, a, a plaster. I'm like, what time is Shabbos? Well, you know, he's Jewish, you know? And uh, he lives up north and whatever. And he lights, you know, they light candles. He lights candles every, every Shabbat. Anyway, so, um, so we always had that, you know, that conversation. Anyways. For him, being a camp is so meaningful. Besides, he loves the kids. He loves the environment. It connects with his soul. You know, so he, I mean, he he is planning to hold his high school reunion at camp. I, I told him to discuss with you, please. He's worked on, he's worked on fundraising. I mean, you know, he texts you. He texts me at any hour. I mean, I never heard from him before he was at camp, you know, but like about plans of doing this and doing that. And he's humbling with everyone to give it for free. And he's anyway, he loves camp in, and he loves the kids. And this is, uh, you know, the, you know, he wants to retire at camp, you know, so it's really a win win. I never thought it would have been this good. And he's great. And we're very fortunate. Um, uh, Can I jump in? Yes. He asked me, uh, right before I left on the march, he asked me if he could bring his wife and spend Shabbat with us. So I said, of course, because I don't think my wife has ever seen that type of experience. Really? Really? Okay. No he has stayed? He has stayed? Like he's been around? He's seen what Shabbat was? So I, I, I didn't think so, but right. I mean, you would know. I don't. Was he <laughs> ever up? I, 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 don't, I don't think I ever remember so seeing So he it. said to me he wants to. Because he's going to sleep up there. Because I, I yeah. think he, so, because he generally was not yeah. supposed to be working on Shabbat. Like he understood yeah. that. So, so uh, wow, that's great. Yeah. He'll stay in your bunk, I assume, he and his wife. <laughs> we did not have that. <laughs> I don't want to know about it. Welcome all. Um, so, so just to touch on some other things, and I, you know, and the truth is, I'm thinking about your Dvar Torah. That was that was so so beautiful. I mean, everyone was, but but that one particular it was like a recap of what was going on. So, in terms of summer camp experience. Although there are certain areas for advancement, there were several programs that we're, we're particularly proud of. And we look at, you know, remember the beginning of the year, I mean, how, the beginning of the summer, you know, with those, those the three boys that were taken hostage and murdered. The treatment at camp, you know, how meaningful that, that was um, with, the, with the conflict in Israel, you know, and, and the contact with the, the contact with, uh, with uh, yeah. the people. Pardon me? With the alum. With the, yeah, with the alum, as well as uh, Ben, uh, ben Yablon. Ben Yablon. Like, you know, it was so beautiful. And then, I, you know, I was thinking about how how we bust in the Malam to the yeah, Federation to, uh, to see Paul, yeah. Paul, uh, Pierre Polyver or whatever speak. For, and I remember I was standing in the, I mean, I know you were, you were there. And I was, I was standing in the back just beaming. You know, there was a group of Masadniks. Like, no other camp was there, just Masad, you know. Mm -hmm. The, uh, you know, listening to him, they met him after, you know, it, like yeah. that's, that's trained to more as leaders, you know, then thinking about Israel day, you know, at camp and, and seeing those pictures online. I mean, that was really beautiful. I mean, some want to introduce that, you know, Kiva, but that was just so, so beautiful and meaningful. So anyways, it really, and I think the Ruach is, you know, the Ruach Tzioni was just beautiful, you know, I'll touch on the, uh, I'll touch on the Tisha Bav after. So uh, anyway, so that you know, like there were really some 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 real substantive highlights to the summer. You know, the, you know. So I, I mean, I'm very proud and very pleased that we're going in the right direction. You know, and slow as we go, but it's going. And now to take it to the next level, I'm confident you will. Okay, let's talk a little bit about administration. <laughs> so uh, you know, it's been a challenge. You know, as as we have. Uh, yeah. 
as as I said last year, you know, it's you know, we are coming from a whole different era in the camping business and the administration of the camp. You know, it used to be where for 30 years you had one person handling a, a CA handling the day to day, and then you had, you know, and his wife doing some of the booking. They, you know, everyone had to pay by check. There was no credit card. You know, there was no online. You know, you had to fill out the form, you, you know, and it was it was very simple, very basic, very, you know, archaic. Camp does not work like that, does not look like that. Parents don't just contact you once a year, right, Alana? <laughs> you know, they, they uh, you know, there's many forms of payment, you know, and then there's changing the minds, there's coming back, there's, the, you know, forms online. It, it looks very different. It's become very intricate. And, uh, and you know, we have audited statements now. We didn't before, uh, you know, governance, you know, uh, you know, two signatories you have, you know, you, uh, you know, codification you have online bookkeeping you know like it's it, it's changed all that to say you know and we've we've been really working to professionalize it and to uh and to have it run efficiently it's been a challenging task especially because um um i feel like this is murphy brown you know <laughs> alana hopefully you're gonna last you know but but we've been through a few and that that makes it uh, and that makes you know that has made the transitions that has that's had made this advancement slower, but we're in the right direction. I mean, the truth is, you know, as painful as it has been, we are in the right direction, and I think this will be a big year. Um, and truthfully, I think with you as camp director, we'll assist that. You know, um, um, we'll see. Yeah. Well, um, anyway, so so so, and we're very fortunate to have the two of you on board with that, and uh, and um, so so. That's that's a big priority, um, and we start off. I mean, we've really established the the process and who's in charge of what and oversight, and we're getting there. You know, so so I, I hope this will be a big year. I expect it will, and it better be. Um, finance. So as as uh, as Shauna had mentioned, we had increased in our bank indebtedness, and that is thankfully, and it is thankfully, um, Evan Feldman had set up. Um, a uh, well, okay, it started with HSBC, who was uh, gave offered the camp a line of credit, a, a, a measly line of credit years ago. Um, they they you know that we weren't dealing, we had no one to deal with anymore. They, our account had ended up in Vancouver until they sent us a letter and they said, No more line of credit, you know, we're canceling your account. Oy vey. Um, anyway, so, anyways, Evan intervened and uh, they did renew our line of credit and increased it um, from 80 to 150 and 150,000 and we have someone to deal with and they actually act like partners now and uh, so it's very nice and, and really what it means is it lets us breathe from August uh, 30th until April when the first payments really come in you know because we're still doing work we're still paying out you have to pay taxes you have to you know like you know we have to pay things in advance and, and that's that cash flow that's a challenge so uh so last year we went around begging people to pay in advance you know and this year we had a line of credit so we didn't have to do that so much you know and um and uh hopefully there will come a day and uh we really look to it where we don't need to use our line of credit and i believe we will come to that day you know um it's on your hands, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, no pressure. But you can, you can, you can withstand that pressure, I'm sure. Um, anyway, so that's that's uh, that's our situation with uh, with the bank and the line of credit. The next area I want to talk about is uh, engagement. You know, we talked about um, you know how to get. We have such a a vast you know uh, alumni that that has such special memories. I mean, I was at an event last night. And uh, Rachel and Jacob, you know Carla's class. You know Carla's class from uh, at uh, Generations in Heber Kadisha. So she, I mean, she was like a mom, mom and pop teacher of my kids. You know, <coughs> whatever, 10, 10 years ago. She says, "I hear you're the president of Masad." I said, "Yeah." She goes, "I went to Masad." You know, like how many times a day do I hear that? I went to Masad. Everyone went to Masad. You know, how do we connect them? You know, to and and they all have wonderful, wonderful memories. I mean, I've never heard. One person say uh, uh, that they had a bad experience other than when Chaim Stier was the uh, camp director. And even, then, <laughs> and even then it was fun. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but uh, so, so about how to get them engaged. 
and connected to the camp and you know and in whatever way uh you know it it could be you know ultimately um in terms of fi financial uh you know frd fundraising but it doesn't you know it's in many ways you know and uh so we talked about it at the board within the year, probably earlier on, about creating a culture of engagement. Um, you know, where people, uh, you know, where we connect and that they feel, you know, they can contribute somehow, um, and uh, and just to feel that they're part, they're still part, that will always be part of the Mossad family. So uh, it's 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 a big big challenge, you know, and it it, it it's not it will not be accomplished overnight. But we started uh, we uh, with the first small step. And there was uh, we create we created it was you and uh, Shauna right uh, you and uh, and Brenda right yeah that uh, that created the uh, Tisha B'Av alumni event so uh, so alumni were invited up to Masad for Tisha B'Av to experience Tisha B'Av now I have to tell you I never went to Masad you were there yeah no you, you were yeah I had never been in Masad and uh, for Tisha B'Av. And I only heard Joelle talk about it forever. Like she never knew Tisha B'Av existed only at camp, like like and from camp. You don't learn about it in school because it happens in the summer, right? So it's not <laughs> one of those events that you talk about, you know. But uh, but she know she knew about it, you know, from camp. And to experience to have experienced, I, I feel so privileged to have witnessed and experienced Tisha B'Av at camp. I mean, I still you know sing the tunes with Sophie and and uh, I mean because Jake and Rachel wanted nothing from me but um, <laughs> but uh, it was so beautiful so meaningful I I, I picture and you know and, and we were blessed I mean we had Erwin uh, Erwin Kotler speak um, you know and and we had a nice group and I drove up with Joelle and her alumni friends <laughs> and uh, to hear the conversation before and after and they said it was like it was like when they were kids I mean the same way it, like it's still very True to tradition. Yeah. I think except for the candles are a little different on the ground, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all they said. But but anyway, so that was a small Terry, you want to say that? Oh yeah. that was a, a, a small step, but uh, meaningful, you know, and and even one of them who uh, who who turned out I didn't know whose parent was president here many years ago, I guess when you were maybe camped or, or anyways. No, but uh, parent year uh, a cat president years ago. She call, she calls up or she she uh, she sends an email or she calls up another camp director where her kids go and she's like why can't you do this you know and she takes a, you, you heard about it and she takes a picture she sends it like this is you know what Tisha Bub should be you know anyways so uh, so you see they can be ambassadors even if their kids are somewhere else you know they can be ambassadors and we got a you know part of that creating a culture of engagement is everyone should be an ambassador you know and uh, anyways we'll get there it was a small step. Uh, hopefully, you know, we'll, there'll be others. We'll figure out other ways, but uh, that was a highlight. So, um, so just to to share what oh, uh, Terry, you want to say? Just to say, how do you take it a step further? Because you talk about these people who talk about their left from Assad, and they talk about their years. My other brother-in-law is one of them as well. Right. Um, many other people, but you say, well, then why aren't your kids there? Yeah. You know, so you're driving up with Joelle and her buddies from camp. Yeah. Why don't yeah. Why aren't there sure. there? So I think that you need to take that step further. Now some of them are already at a certain age where they're engaged in another camp. So you have to probably go to the alumni that are a little bit younger. Right. And that's where it needs to infiltrate in order to get yeah. them to come to camp because that's the only yeah. way to Yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> what? That's that's why awesome. they're here. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, for sure. Yeah. 100%, you know, and I I think Again, Jeff will be instrumental <laughs> in that. But it's true. I mean, you are the yeah. the essence of camp in the sad, you know? <laughs> I, I know nothing. I didn't go to camp a day in my life, but I when, when I think of camp as that, I think of you. you. <laughs> Essence. <laughs> my first invitation to come to Canvas Ave was by Jeff Bichet, right? When Jacob was like a little pitcher. Anyway, do we so, have a promotional video on our website? <laughs> I'm not anymore. I have the 93 one. Or the yeah, I have that. Video. Oh, I have seen that, have that one. one. The problem is on VHS. It hasn't been tracked. I have that. <laughs> I have 2005 on VHS. Well, that's, that's the last the time we get a video. Yeah. No, we have some. We have a promotional video. It's not out yet, but I did send yeah. it to a while back. So it's going to come out mm -hmm. soon, surely. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. 
Yeah, and but for sure, all these things need to be DHS? done too. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, actually, it's, it's, now, it's a beta current. Thing. It's now it's on current. CDO. <laughs> <laughs> but there were it's great things. Like but just to say, there were there were great things posted. <laughs> there were great things posted, like from the summer. You know, like that uh, that whole uh, like all those videos that were done. Like those are show on our website, that. right? Yeah, uh, the gum one is my yeah, favorite. Yeah, gum. Well, they're on the favorite. Facebook. There's a lot of good engagement on Facebook. Right. It's true. You want to say something? I'm just I, I'm again I'm from nowhere right I'm like an astronaut this meeting so <laughs> I don't know apply to it anyway it works so my question is just what what are key touch point resistance like what where do you see resistance when you meet parents because you're asking about how they get alumni to convert uh, or whatever their kid what what are key things that play against from from alumni um there's so there are there's two different i mean so i'm thinking of all the alumni and i've had including the person that martin was talking about when she sent that email to her camp director and she told me that she was sending that email i said you know getting other camps to be like Masad doesn't work send your kids to Masad. and the answer is usually well my husband grew up at this camp and he won that argument i won the school argument oh, wow um the so we hear that which was actually her case and that was literally uh, her case yeah, um yeah. the uh the uh there are some others that actually are coming to camp this summer they're they're they work in camp with me so they weren't staff with me. i mean they were staff but um but they were my age roughly uh who will be coming to camp over over one weekend this summer um none of them send their kids to camp they all currently live in toronto and they all made the decision to do a yj camp closer to toronto because it's only a two-hour drive away as opposed to a six-hour drive god forbid something happens da, da, da. Um, and now they're on their third children their third or fourth child so it's not like they're gonna all of a sudden start to change so that so that's really the change um Having said that, we also had, I mean, the, uh, two days after it was announced that I was coming to camp, uh, we had a, a friend of ours that, that used to come to camp, who never was there as a camper, but it was there as a staff, who, okay, I'm sending my kids to camp. So that, we're starting to see that a little bit. Um, my uh, former, uh, actually the position that Sarah Beat's doing this year, and last year actually, the former uh, head cancer in camp, um when in a bunch of my a uh, bunch of years ago he, she now has kids that are camp age she's going to spend some time up in camp to get them and she's a Torontonian, but to get them ready for camp so this way she could send them next year as well um so we're slowly getting that group um we weren't able to get my friends where it's really much more of their friends that we're you know targeting Yeah. And we can't are there are there stuff, key <laughs> things? That, sorry, are there key things that keep coming back as to why people don't want to send their kids to this camp? Um, so, like the top five. Yeah. So, I mean, there, there's. I, I would say one is a lack of. Um, put it this way: if we had a sta uh, a parent. Um, uh, uh, at the end of the summer, parents had to fill out a survey and some whatever with this company. And it was pretty obvious that parents were sending their kids to camp because of the familial um, feeling in camp. Everyone knows everyone and we learned. Yeah. It was not about the program. It was not about the, the Jewish. It was about the family that feeling of family in camp it wasn't even about the ruach like really the so what did what did that tell us so the guy who's reading the survey with me and his son, he goes so basically your current campers are going to be your campers because you have won over those families and not for any programmatic reason but it makes it very hard to get those people to turn around and say yeah but you know water skiing is great but i only went water skiing once well there's a problem there or you know tennis is great but they never learned how to play tennis or right so the skill the skills weren't there um and the program wasn't really necessarily there and as a result of that the only thing that that 
was working for us was the fact that we actually love each other. Great. But that will only work for the people that are sitting around the table. It's not going to work for anyone else. Uh, so that's that's a big one. Um, and that has successfully <coughs> been part of the reason why we I mean, we, we lose campus. Aren't we? we don't re replenish as much as we lose. Um, and maybe I would say uh, probably attention to detail might have been another thing that maybe people are noticing that um, that wasn't good. Uh, and then I would say the last thing is that as Martin was talking about ambassadors, you could have 20 ambassadors saying great things and one anti-ambassador saying the opposite and that one person is going to yeah. uh, detract and we've seen that we've seen that i mean even in my day we saw that where one parent who really had an axe to grind came at camp and we lost the bunk as a result of it or i mean the equivalent of the bunk it happens and so that happened a little bit more in the last of so really the the objective is this year to get a good year under your belt right. of strong uh, content and uh, right. you know yeah so that yeah so. I, I, I mean one uh, another way to illustrate is when I flew I went to Toronto for an open house and so we were sitting and talking and there were four new kids okay that were sitting there and the and we were at a home of current campers. And the kids asked the question. And so it was like a great camp question. It was a perfect question. For sure, you should be asking that question. And it might have been something like, what do they do on, on, in the water? On the water. It doesn't make a difference what it was. But I know my answer as to what we're going to do on the waterfront. And we had two campers who said something completely different. <laughs> so it made it very difficult to turn around and say, Yes, but, you know, or yes, and. So I think we need to go through a year of back to getting the skills right, and then that will be a little bit easier for us. So that's why I talk about numbers for the future. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, so after you have a summer uh, under your belt, which, uh, and I'm confident, I'm very, we have no doubt we fully support you, and, uh, and we sure you'll bring us to the promised land. So <laughs> now you're our Moses. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> you are a redeemer. Exactly. So just so just talk, you know, the future, like what what is the next year for us? And I mean I talk about it a lot, but it is, you know, we gotta fill those beds, you know. So so you know, God willing, we'll have some increase next year. We will improve the administration. We will continue to have uh, to have a more um, more uh, professional and efficient um, uh, administration. Uh, we will work more towards creating uh, substantive leadership development, uh, you know, um, strong pro programmatic contact and skill development and board succession. I mean, I, I just want to share something with you. I, I, and you can definitely feel this as well. You know, when I look at where we came from, you know, and I look at the board, you know what I mean? Like, I, what are you laughing? I remember where you go. Yeah, from. you know what I mean? Like, like, and I, I get such joy, such nachas out of like, you know, you know, I mean, a few of us have experience, you know, but like you're newbies, you know, and, and look how, where you've come and uh, you're the future of the camp. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you're one year off and I'm, you know, not far behind you, God willing. And, uh, and uh, no, but you're really the future of the camp, you know, and I look at you and I, and I see, you know, and I, and I, God willing, but. Um, uh, without taking a vow upon myself. No, um, no, but really, you're the future of the camp. And, and when I look back, and I'm sure you concur, you know, from where you started to your involvement and engagement today, it's phenomenal. And it brings, it brings me, and I'm sure it brings you so much nachas, you know, so, you know, and, and that's what, that's the spirit of the camp. You know, we're not a bunch of Alta Cockers sitting around and, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's really, I mean, you look at these counselors are these, our kids, you know, they're, they're, they are, they are mentoring and teaching, you know, and like in scary to say raising these, you know, these, they're young, these younger kids, but the, you know, but they, they turn out great. So it's, it's like consistent with camp anyways. <coughs> So board succession is important that, you know, when it when it comes time to transfer the reins, um, you know, it's 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 done properly and well and uh, you know, and we'll assure the, the success of the camp going forward. And I have no doubt. I mean I'm very confident about it. So uh, so that that's really um, that's it for the 
uh, for the update. I don't know if anyone has any questions. No, but uh, okay. And with that, we will go to uh, good and welfare, I guess. Does anyone have uh, any good and welfare? I have one, but it'll take one second. Sorry. Happy birthday to Karen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to share my birthday with you. I do. I know. <laughs> all days to call them. You guys are, are finally my bosses. That's, That's what, what she just said. said. That's what I just said. That is awesome. That, that is. Talk about that so is. If we go on a race this summer, you can't finish us. It's all right. It's all right. I'd love to see the race. What race? Of what? Yeah. Way to go. Take the air out of the tires of the camp van. Oh, 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 and it's on camera. Turn it on. Happy birthday, dear Karen. Try not to let them burn out. Happy birthday to you. It was trying one of them burnt out, but it was trying to uh be like, I guess you're, you're on the board. George's mustard? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's a half shirt. They're not, are, are they peanut free? I don't know. What? No, they're, no, they're, that's not, that's not, that's not, not. What? Oh, oh, you shared that. I thought it was, it was more generous just to put, you know, years on the board or something. Here, please. Pass <laughs> <laughs> they're dairy. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> FYI, they're dairy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I, I, so just that, then, I mean, wishing. Karen, a happy birthday, and uh, and it just shows, honestly, your commitment to the camp. I mean, the two of you, the fact that on your birthday, you're here, you know, with everything that you do, you know, you're here on your birthday. Thank you. Uh, you. You don't cease to amaze me. You don't cease to amaze us with what, you know, you've done for the camp, what you continue to do for the camp, and for Eric to, to join the board, I mean, um, you know, <laughs> really is is we're, we're so fortunate so thank you all and if you want to take a cupcake and pass and with that i will adjourn the meeting thank you uh thank you everyone thank you for joining us i will i will take one because i burnt a few thousand calories today so i do 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 i do